Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested.com here at DesignerCon 2017. I want you to meet Sergio, who's a, a new artist. Here's the first year here? Yeah, right? first year, first time doing anything here. And your work was so eye-catching. I had to pull you over to the booth to chat with you about it. Thank uh, you. Your company's called That But Smaller. Yes, correct. That and but as indicated, uh, you make miniatures. Yeah. Uh, are these scratch-built models? Yeah, totally scratch. So how I start, I see a building I like, and uh, for like this one, it's around my neighborhood. So on my daily walks, I see it all the time. So I was like, you know what? I want to capture it because I love it. You know, I pass by here, I shop in here, and here we go. You know. Oh my God! Do you know what scale this is? You work at a certain scale. Uh, these are not on a scale. Not on a no, scale. See, I just go three on these. And and you're not? Are you pulling parts existing like pipes or anything? Or what? What are your materials you work with? Uh, just anything really. So like I take a lot of electronics apart. So I find like coils and stuff like that. Uh, like this stuff is just all plastic from a, like a weird tubing electrical thing. You know, all the wiring is from just wires that I pull apart together. The rest is uh, basically just paper chipboards, a little bit of paint, uh, yeah, it's and then just aging and a lot of time. Gorgeous. Now, uh, you're new to DesignerCon. How long have you been making your miniatures? Uh, for about six to seven months right now. That's it? Yeah. Well, you were doing miniatures beforehand, right? No, never. I never what? worked on any like, smaller scale. Or what, what were you doing before you were making these? Uh, before all of this, I was actually an elevator engineer. I used to build elevators and high rises and commercial and residential. So. And you quit that so quit that. to be an artist? Yeah, I just, you know, like the pay was really well. The hours were amazing because I was doing, you know, 14, 15 hours uh, shifts a day. So I was just like, I can't do it, yeah. it's stressing out, it's tiring. So I told uh, my girlfriend, I was like, you know what, I'm done, I can't, I'm quitting. And so I quit, I was unemployed for like three, four months, just being a bum, you know, like, what am I going to do next, you know, why did I quit? Yeah. And then I, I was dry, I was like doodle and stuff like that, so I was like, oh, like, let me search schools, because I never went to school. So around my neighborhood, there's uh, the AI, and I was like, oh, that's really cool, and they have a program called Set Design, an exhibit. Of course. Yeah, okay. So I was like, okay, so I can see me building sets, you know, like that's something else, you know, I had background in uh, construction, so I can yeah. do it. So I went there, and uh, the lady gave me the tour of the shop, and I was like, oh man, this is awesome, like, you know, like, I should have gone to school, like, way earlier, because it's amazing. So we ended up doing all that, I learned how to do flats, and lighting, all the technical drafting. And of course, in set design, you have to take a step back, and you're looking at the set, whether for stage or for movie productions, from all around. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not just facades. And, and, and you have to make miniatures, exactly. right? You're, yeah. you're making foam core models, cardboard models, and this is like that, but just way more detail. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I fell in love when I did it. You know, we had to do a theater model, and I was like, oh, I don't know, like, this is so weird. I've never worked, like, so small. And I was, I was working, I'm like, oh, man, like, this is really cool. Like, you know, like, look at the real details I can get, and the smaller and smaller. And bam, you know, like, I started doing this, and I feel like having, like, that whole theater background, you know, how you said it's contained. I kind of challenged myself, you know, I was like, oh, how could I do something with just a disc? Yeah. So I casted the concrete and I was like, what can I do, you know, like to add the whole scene, capture the moment, you know, so. There are individual newspapers here. How, how, how are those made? Are, are you? I print all the newspapers, okay. so like I take everything to Photoshop, I change, you know, what I want, I can make it say anything. And you're making individual things yeah. and you're stacking it, you're binding it, and you're weathering it so it looks like... Like it's been there for like a couple of days because oh. somebody forgot that... Wow. Yeah, you know, to put them in. That's so much detail. Do you find yourself always wanting to pack more and more detail yes. into it's your, really your space? Like back because you're like, oh, oh, you could have a, like a little pipe here or more trash. Or a hinge yeah, or anything, a handle you know, or, like or a sticker. So much more detail. Yeah. And like when I talk to my girlfriend, I'm like, you know, like part of the art is I want to show where we live. Because, you know, we walk down the street every day, but we don't see the things. You know, you see, like, this, but you don't notice it. Yeah. You look at it, but you don't notice it. So I want people to, like, notice that their city is beautiful, even though it's dirty. It's just, you know, grimy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's every day. It's our everyday thing. Does it change how you look at your environment when you're walking around? Totally. Like, picking out, that would be a great miniature, but then 
you're studying all the angles and definitely yeah because i drive down through like a lot of industrial places so going through like trash cans is amazing yeah yeah you because know, you find so many random things or the crash uh, it's been like dented hit really hard so you know you got to look at all the small details and be like okay so this piece has a story one day you know it was just standing there and it got totally rammed by a truck but it's still standing you know like just capture that moment and is it photo reference you take or sketches or uh, how, how do you how do you get really you know like i take a lot of pictures and then like i just reference back i'm like oh like that was a cool scene like let's combine it with something else very cool well sergio thank you so much for sharing with me your works and Good luck, they're, they're so wonderful. Uh, you have a website where people can check these out? Uh, yeah, just at uh, thatmonsmaller.com. Awesome. Yeah. And I hope you have a great designer con and many more designer cons to come. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you.